almost couldn't believe it either. Super juicy and flavor-packed hamburger patties cooked to perfection from the comfort of your climate-controlled kitchen? Yep, and no one will have any idea you actually made them in your air fryer. Hey there, I'm Lena Brazil, and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make healthier and sometimes faster spins on classic recipes. And today we are taking my hubby's famous burger recipe, amping up the flavor with a homemade burger seasoning mix, and then letting the air fryer do all of the work for us. So my friends, without further ado, let's jump straight in and get to cooking. In order to make four burger patties, you're going to need one pound of ground meat. I'm using a 90-10 ground beef today. I find it has a perfect balance of juiciness from the fat, while also being lean enough that it doesn't shrink too much while cooking. If you want to be a little more adventurous though, you can try other ground meats such as ground turkey, bison, or even venison. Add the ground meat to a large bowl, along with two tablespoons of barbecue sauce, one tablespoon of pickle juice, two teaspoons of yellow mustard, and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. I know that is a lot of condiments, and guys, that is only about like half of what my husband normally puts into his burger patties. I like to call them the kitchen sink of hamburgers. But if you don't have all of these ingredients on hand, no worries, there are a few simple substitutions that you can make. The barbecue sauce for some ketchup, pickle juice for apple cider vinegar, and the yellow mustard for either Dijon or Creole mustard. You'll also need three tablespoons of a plain breadcrumb. This will help absorb some of the liquid so the patties hold their shape. And last but not least, the thing that gives these burger patties so much flavor is that homemade burger seasoning mix. You'll wanna first grab a small bowl and add one tablespoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of dried oregano, Basil or parsley will also do. One and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is optional and can be left out if you don't like spice. Whisk this all together until well combined. You should end up with roughly three tablespoons or two batches worth of seasoning. Add one and a half tablespoons of the burger seasoning to the bowl with the meat and store the rest in an airtight jar for later. Begin mixing everything together with either a spatula, a potato masher, or you can always do it with your hands. I find this is so much easier as long as you don't mind getting a little messy. Oh yeah, for those of you that've got some rings on, don't forget to take those off. Mix the meat until all of the ingredients are well combined and then divide it up into four equal portions. Scoop out one of the portions and squeeze the meat tightly to ensure it all sticks together. Begin forming a patty that is four to five inches in width. Remember, the burgers are going to shrink up slightly while cooking, so the wider you can get them without them falling apart, the better. Another way you can shape your patties is to use a four inch round cookie cutter. Place the ground meat into the cutter and press it down until it reaches all of the sides. Remove the cutter and then round out the edges. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, you'll wanna make sure and preheat your air fryer to 370 degrees while you're prepping the patties. This way it's nice and hot when you throw those burgers in. Place the patties in a single layer in the air fryer basket, paying careful attention that they do not touch each other. Any area that's touching will not get that crispy crust on the outside. Cook for seven minutes for a medium burger, or eight for well done. After five minutes, flip the burgers over so they cook evenly on all sides. If you'd like to turn these burgers into cheeseburgers, then simply place a slice of cheese on each one as soon as they're done cooking. You can even slide the basket back into the air fryer for a minute without turning it back on to make them melt a little faster. And then serve them up on a hamburger bun with all of your favorite toppings.
All right, let's see what this patty is made of. Ooh-wee, that is one daggum good burger, y'all. It's juicy on the inside, has that crispy, crusty exterior on the outside. But I might be a little biased, so I wanna hear what you guys think. Also, if you need a few more simple summer sides to go along with these burgers, I've got you covered. Check these out right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.